Okay. Tonight we're going to do a little uh, flight in the AA-1A Bug Smasher. Got my Garmin GDL 39 3D and my iPad Mini. Uh, testing that out, the SVT feature. Did a software upgrade on that GDL 39 you see up on the panel. Beautiful night, 4 mile an hour winds, 81 degrees. Going to fly with canopy open. Go have a little fun. So, I ran up the plane. There's not much to do to this little thing. Got plenty of gas. Bags are on both, trim set. Fuel's on. Instruments are set. No traffic. And Auburn DeKalb, uh, 62 Lima, burning 27. We'll be north, Auburn. Oh, we got the canopy open about a foot. Kind of nice breeze. Here comes the runway on the synthetic vision. And up on the center lines. That is just too cool for a $800 piece of equipment. So we'll bring in the throttle. And power coming in all the way. Got 60 mile an hour coming up. Rotate. And up we go. See the runway, you can fly this thing just by looking at the GDL 39. I'm not even looking outside. A little bumpier tonight than I thought it would be. Oh, we'll make a right turn here. Beautiful night outside tonight. So far this GTL is doing pretty good. Left turn. And I'm pitched up about 5 degrees, same as the attitude indicator, so it's doing its job. Do a little tighter turn. There, we'll fly towards a known tower over here. There it is right there, right off my nose. I'll reduce the power and head to it, see what kind of warning we get here. There it is, I don't know if you can get out the windscreen. That's close enough for me. This is probably one of the funnest airplanes I've ever owned. Short little wings that just handles like a little sports car. And it's so easy to fly. A little hotter than like a 152 as far as the wing loading. When you pull the power off, it definitely wants to uh, come down. But, I mean, just a hands-off. Trim the airplane, fly it, and I'll trim it here. Nice and level. Don't have to do much. Five and a half, five and a half gallons per hour. Little GDL 39's doing what it should. This is my town here I live in. Little town of Auburn, Indiana. 
about 12,000 of us here. I'm going to climb a little and put this uh, GDL 39 through some unusual attitudes. See what happens. I'm going to go up to 2,500 feet. One thing that isn't very accurate, it might be the way I have it mounted up here. It's vibrating pretty good on this uh, uh, glare shield. Is the uh, the skid indicator? Skid indicator just goes left, right, left, right, and, and I have no idea what I'm actually doing as far as skidding, so that's not very helpful, but in this plane, that's not a big deal. Okay. Coming up on uh, 2,300, this says 2,360, 2,320. This is derived from GPS, so pretty handy, really. What a great backup for the money. Synthetic vision, GPS, everything. Okay, we're at 2,500. We'll turn into the wind. level flight, this agrees. First we're going to go down and left. And up and right. And left, down. And up and right. It's not failing at all. A little bit of uh, zero G and back down. And we'll put it in a little spiral. Pull the throttle back a little. That's 60 degree bank spiral. Then we'll go into some higher G maneuver in the pull out. That nose it over. Never screwed up once. I mean that's some pretty serious turning for a $800 unit. I'm going to put it in a constant, I'm going to go full power now and put it in a constant 60 degree bank level. So we're level here. Level here, or not 60, 45, excuse me, or 30. Can't think straight tonight. Go to a 45, or a 60, excuse me. No problem. I was descending in there. I don't want to stall this thing at night, put it in a spin. So I'd say they got the bugs worked out of that pretty good. Go back up, level it off, zero G, back down, and up. I don't see any problems with that. Good job, Garmin. Pretty neat what you could do with this, uh, this little machine. Go back home, um, go into the map all your traffic. Um, I don't have ADSB out, so I'm not going to see anything but the big boys right now, but that's pretty cool. Put the weather on, uh, overlays, go to the ADSB radar. Um, pretty cool here. I mean, a little cell over here looks like my, that's Chicago over here. This is South Bend. I live in Auburn here. So this is moving this way. Then we could pan out, see the whole country, some weather in northern Michigan. Looks like South Florida has some weather. Pretty neat. So if we zoom 
Med. Go to uh, Auburn. That's where I'm at. Click on the airport. Got all our information, frequency, runway, fuel. Find out more information about it. Right here is our weather. And we're getting it from the FISB. Winds 209 knots. So, a little higher, a little more wind, I thought. Ceiling 25. Oh, wait, that's a little old. That's 8.54 p.m., so that was almost an hour ago. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you get your weather here. Then Fort Wayne, the city to the south. Um, get our TAF on there, along with our local weather. Kind of nice. All in this little unit that sits up here. Put in our flight plans. I can shoot a, uh, bring a chart up. Here's Auburn, this is where I am at. Oh, that's binders, excuse me. But, uh, like if I want to do, uh, I do the localizer 27, this does have a localizer built into it. Well, maybe we'll do that on the way back in. But there you are, there's your chart. And, uh, we can put our own ship on there. Um, as we get closer, it'll actually probably show up automatically, I would think. We're seven, point mile, seven miles from Auburn. So, what a great little piece of equipment for not much money. Um, has terrain on it. So you go to a terrain only page, page if you want. See that. We go to our devices, go to our uh, GDL 39. Our firmware has a green check mark, ground station, two active stations, traffic, tracking 19 targets, GPS is active. So, good quality. So, good there. And, um, got a traffic page, which again, we're only going to find the big boys right now since I don't have out. But, um, I hook it up in the glass there, it'll be full time, or it'll reset everything. One thing I like that too is uh, Garmin with its runway extension line set down here. Make sure you guys can be seeing this, I'm sitting there pointing at stuff, yeah. Runway extension lines on either side, that's pretty cool. So if we wanted to look at our fuel prices, we can click them on. Auburn's 571, Fort Wayne's 595. Go further south, 528, 572. That's a nice, nice feature. So, I'll go back to our synthetic vision. There's our airport, KGWB. That's, well, we'll just turn right and head towards that. I'll take a minute if I fly to that flag. That'll put us at the center of the runway. Pretty cool. Beautiful night to fly. Out in the distance, don't know if you can see that, that's Fort Wayne. That's a city of about, uh, oh, I think they're 300,000 now. That's where we, we go when we want to go get stuff. So, quite a bit of wind up here tonight. I'm uh, indicating 90, oh, 80, 87 knots. Doing 70 knots across the ground, so a little bit of wind up here tonight. That's one thing. Uh, for some reason, I don't seem to be able to get the wind a lot up here. The wind's aloft. Uh, it says no data, so I'm not able to track the wind's aloft. Now, I might be able to go into the uh, menu and refresh the weather. Let's try that. That won't let me. Let's go back to that uh, synthetic vision again. Whoops. Wrong button. Oh, there's the synthetic vision. There you can see the runway coming up.
again, it's a pretty nice night to fly. This plane has just wonderful handling characteristics. Let's pull up that uh, chart again. Yep, there's our own ship. So there we are. So if we wanted to fly this uh, localizer, 10875. Put it over here in the king. Good little king. Uh, it's a KX125. Okay, it's saying localizer. Kind of a neat display there that it actually tells you it's a localizer. There's got to be a way to turn down this brightness, I would think. But I don't know how to do it. So, let's do this. Here we are. Alright, so, want to fly the localizer. I guess we can do that tonight. Seven five. Let's see if we can identify that. That would be nav. Uh, I think it's actually nav two because nav one was a GPS. Dot, bar, bar, dot, dot, bar, 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 dot, dot. That was it. Let's go. We're good there. We're flying over the runway right now. See, the inbound heading is uh, going to be the chart up there, 274 inbound. Going right over the top of the runway right now, needle centering. So we'll fly outbound. We'll track the needle outbound. Okay, we shut off our identification. Has good movement. Seems to be a good shape. Okay. Sensitivity is correct on the needle. Be a back horse going outbound. So you'd steer opposite of the needle. So we got a wind coming out of the south, so I'm going to have to steer oh, about 20 degrees into the wind probably to get our needle to come back and hold us on, and then I can monitor it here on the uh, uh, chart also. So my needle's coming back, about a 20 degree correction angle roughly. minimums would be <clears throat> for the localizer straight in 1320 which is 440 foot off the ground half mile visibility so even in this little bug smasher you could actually fly a little IFR and this would be a great little backup uh, for your uh, regular attitude indicator in case you would blow the uh, Suction, so in case you'd lose the uh, bump. Well, we're relatively tracking our needle here on the way out. A little more steering to the right, maybe. Oh, well, that'll be our locator uh, marker here. This is our outer marker. So 
once I hit her outer marker, I'll just do a turn about uh, 45 degrees to the right. I'll do a 180. Come back in. So let's do this. Uh, Out of marker, we're going to turn right. That'll work right there. Fly out uh, about one minute. Even the little clock works in this plane really good, so that's pretty cool. This thing flies so easy, so smooth. This is really all the airplane you need to have fun in. So our localizer needle showing a full right deflection. It shows the same thing over here on the KX-125, which is pretty neat. Okay. That's 45 seconds. Go just a little more. See our little own ship here. Okay, there's one minute, so we're going to turn. And we'll do about a... About a uh, 45 intercept, roughly. Pull back the power just a little. Trim it up just a little. Okay, and at the outer marker, need to be at 26. We're at 25. We're just doing this VFR, so it doesn't matter. Then we can step down. screwing around, flew right through my needle, staring at this. <laughs> anyway, we'll get back on course here. I'm going to hit direct two. AGWB right here. Activate. We could go back to our synthetic vision. our airport. What would really be neat is if they do the highway in the sky on this. That would be really cool. Okay, so our local analyzer needles to the left still, so we're still flying left. Does the same thing here. It's starting to come in. There we are. But I'm going to have a wind from the south, so I'm going to have to steer towards it a little. I'm going to start taking some correction out. But I know the airport's right there because that's my marker. It'll start to center. A little more correction out. We'll just try this. I guess that, this is going to work right here. Get the fuel pump on. I already got my landing light on because it's a... Uh, LED, run it all the time. So if you put these, uh, put this right in the middle of the airplane, or uh, that sign right in the markers there, you pretty much bring it right to the airport. Minus your crab angle, of course. Got my needle nailed, put in a little flaps. One third notch. Start coming downhill. Man, what a nice, what a nice night to fly. It is 
don't get much better than this. Yeah, we're doing pretty, this, uh, this little 39.3D is working pretty good. Localizer's nailed. Nailed there, so those both work. Gauges are good on the engine. And we're pretty high. So we'll pull out some power. We're 3.5 miles, 2 minutes and 42 seconds away. Now uh, you can see the runway out there. Might have some nice, get a little air here. There we are coming down. Air speed's 100 mile per hour. And we'll test our carburetor heat. Engine's still running. Put it back in. In the A1A, you, uh, carburetor heat is needed. And on 152, I believe you uh, leave it on any, I think any RPM below 2,000 maybe. Put a little trim in again. Go another notch of flaps. So we're at two-thirds flaps now. A little more trim. We're now at 95 mile per hour. We're two miles out. You can see the runway start to come in here. Definitely a crab angle. Localizer's nailed. Right, taking us right down the middle of the runway. Good little, uh, good little radio here. We're 85 mile per hour now. Still white over white, but that's okay. We're coming down at about 700 foot a minute. Altitude's 1,400. Auburn to Calb, 6-2 Lima, final, 2-7 Auburn. 85 mile an hour. Synthetic vision showing the runway, just like I see it out there. White over red, looking good. I'm going to go full flaps. A little more nose up trim. White over red. Come up a thousand foot. Getting red over red now, but that's okay. We're 80 mile per hour. Here's a synthetic vision showing the runway. Coming right down. There's the runway. 80 mile per hour. There it is here, 27. Coming right down on it. Runway assured, power off. There's the 27 right there. Nose up a little. Okay. Laps up. Trim back to normal. Power in. Sixty mile an hour, rotate the nose up. Synthetic vision working. Yeah, I could fly it just by staring at the synthetic vision. I'm not even looking outside right now. I need a little crap left crap, it looks like, to get it back online. But yeah, I could fly it just by looking at this. I would never need to look at the panel. Now, in fact, I'm going to fly the whole pattern and not look outside here. Okay, I'm at 1,200 foot. Double check, flaps are up. I'm going to make my turn. Not looking outside, flying only by reference to the iPad here. Okay, there's south. I'm going to level off. Okay. Let's turn my downwind. I'm going to fly this whole thing by synthetic vision here. Just kind of timing my pattern. I know the airport's to my left, but I'm not looking. And I had to leave a little crab in, I know, for the wind. Track at about 100, uh, 
or well, we can use the track, actually, that's a good thing. We'll just track. I like that feature. We'll track 90, that way I know I don't blow in. There we are, that's a good idea. Instead of trying to fly at a crab angle on the uh, DG, we'll just track 91. We're at 1,800 feet, that's pattern altitude. I'll pull off some power, get a notch of flaps in. There's a notch of flaps. Okay. Not sure where the runway is. I'm going to take a quick look. Okay, it's just a beam the touchdown point. So I'm going to start coming down. Another notch of flaps. Check the car beat. It's good. Bring it back to about 1700. Uh, fly it strictly off the GDL 39, not looking at even any of the other instruments. Uh, start coming around. Another notch of flaps. blowing pretty good so I'm going to bring her around and Auburn to crowd uh, 6-2 Lima final 2-7 Auburn coming around I know the runway is going to be about west we'll keep up yep there it is all right I'm still not looking outside plenty high laps are coming full says I'm 1200 feet Altimeter says the same. I'll keep coming down. Ground speed 74. Okay. Okay, I'm looking outside. Boom. Yeah, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I could fly this little airplane all night. This thing is just too much fun. But that'll be enough for tonight. Glad you could ride along. And bring the flaps up. Set the trim for next flight. Fuel pump off.